Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm from Extension Works and today we're going to be talking about Canada Post. So if you can see here, uh, when you purchase Canada Post from uh, extensionworks.com, you'll be prompted to install the Extension Works framework, which you can see we've got sitting here. So there's a little, um, like, a, like this up here, install the Extension Works updater, you'll see this message and it'll say, um, install the extension works framework and then you just click on the link and you it'll basically install and then you'll need to activate it and then you can see down here I've also got WooCommerce Canada post as well so the th the first thing that we'll go to is we'll go in and have a look at the products and we'll go in here to wine so for Canada post you will need to have a uh, weight and dimensions entered into your products so this is a simple product and you can see i've got weight here is two kilograms and the dimensions are 30 by 2 by 30. let's just go into a variable product as well go into test in a t variable product we'll go into the variations Okay, so we've got weight 0 0.17 and the dimensions are 9 by 6 by 4. Okay, so that's great. So what I'm going to do also here is I'm going to assign this product a shipping class as well. So this is test in a T. And I'm not going to do it within the variations. I'm going to do it here within the shipping area. And I just find this is much easier because then you only have to change one area. Uh, we can go to Canada Post. Um, you can put it in under the variations, but I always just do it here. It's up to you. Okay. I think we'll go back as well and we'll just enter the one we did before, wine. And we'll just do... Uh, Canada Post as well. Okay, and just update that as well. Okay, so that's great. So next we will come over to WooCommerce and Settings. And as you can see, I've got a message here. Canada Post is enabled, but the currency is not accepted. And I've got uh, United States, New Jersey. So we'll go to um, Canada. Uh, we'll go Canadian dollars. Canadian. Canadian dollars. Specify countries. Canada. And we'll just save that option. Sometimes, see, it didn't work here, so we'll just go back to Canada, Newfoundland. It'll be fine now. Okay, so we've set up the base location, the currency, and the allowed countries to ship to. So we specified in here that we want to ship to Canada. So we're going to shipping and we go to Canada Post. And the first thing you'll see is obviously enable, disable. So you need to allow to use this um, extension. So you could just click yes. Method title is Canada Post. I've got an origin postcode here of A1C1A1. Uh, handling fee, this is something uh, that you might want to pop in here. So $2.50, $3, $10. So whatever you want to charge for um, packing the parcel. Apply handling fee to the value of the cart. Use shipping classes. So we want to check this option because we created some uh, a shipping class called Canada Post. So we'll just tick that option. Your products will be shipped together. Yes, we'll choose together. So there's two options, together or separately. I don't think many people would um, ship separately. It's not really that uh, economical. 
Select shipping rate to display all, cheapest rate or highest rate. I'll choose all. So the next step is boxes. So boxes for parcel mail. I've already got a test box in here. Okay, so I only have one test box here at the moment. So that is where you'll need to come up here to container settings and you'll want to create a custom box. So we'll go in here, test box. You can call your box whatever you want to. So it's, um, it's up to you. Uh, so we can, I'll just remove this. Let's say it is 20 width by 20 length by 20 height. And then you just enter in 20, 20, 20. So the reason I like to add in uh, WLH, length, width, length, height, is so you're, you can actually use this as a reference uh, if you're actually adding new products or you've got products in there and you need to see what size your custom boxes are or what size you need to create your custom boxes. And you have to remember that you have to allow, when you're creating boxes, you have to allow or create a custom box that is large enough to fit your largest product. So you have to make sure that the dimensions here for your, this is quite a large box, 20 by 20 by 20. So if you've got a, um, a product that is, let's just say 18 by 18 by 18, I know that this box will be great for that product. So you can actually um, set a maximum weight for this box as well. So uh, certain carriers have um, restricted weight so let's just say they only ship 25 kilograms or 40 pounds. So you can go in and enter the um, maximum weight as well. We'll just save that box. So then you come across here and you can select your box that you've just created. Uh, this box. Uh, let's make a smaller one. So let's say seven width by seven, seven length by seven height. And then you just enter in seven, seven, seven. Let's just say this is and 40 kilograms, save. And then we come across here to our parcel mail and we can select that box as well. Um, envelopes for letter mail? No, Canada Post doesn't offer that option. Shipping methods for packages? Okay, so you, this is where you can go in and choose what you want to ship by. And uh, most people have regular parcel. Um, a common one as well we'll just choose we're not shipping internationally so we're only shipping Canada Post Express Post Priority okay that'll that's probably enough for now a fallback is the next option so this is if the API um, it doesn't return a rate, a shipping rate, so then you can actually put in here a fallback of what you want to charge for your shipping. So you could add uh, $25, $30, entirely up to you what you wish to charge. And the next one is a fallback name. So obviously you can choose the title, method availability, all allowed countries or specified countries. We'll do Canada. Uh, we'll turn debug off. Uh, debug is something that we use as developers if um, if you're not seeing any shipping rate that's being returned. Um, 
we just we use it as a reference so what it will do is we'll enable it and then obviously we'll on the cart page some code will be shown and we'll be able to work out and go through what assess the situation work out why no shipping rate is being returned or for various other things as well might not be happening so or you can use it as well it's up to you if you can understand what it's saying uh, test environment so uh, using a test environment that's what we will be doing at the moment so um, it's great that Canada Post offers this um, this for this uh, method for their API so you can just use it in a test environment if you don't have a Canada Post account um, and then you just enter in these uh, contract ID it's CPC underscore demo underscore XML so that's quite handy. Uh, shipping by commercial account. So you can, if you've got a commercial account, obviously you tick this option here and you add your contract ID and your API key and your customer ID as well. Okay, so the next part is we can actually, if you want to, you can rename your shipping methods. So we have regular parcel that we've chosen so we can just choose that and if we wanted to change it to uh, my shipping save that's terrible nicole we'll just start again regular parcel my shipping spelt correctly this time and you can see here we've got um, it's changed to my shipping and here you're able to see your original shipping title and your new shipping title as well so it just comes in handy so we'll just go ahead and we'll save the changes and then we can come across to the shop and we can go to inner T, select an option, medium, add to cart, view cart, we'll calculate shipping, Canada, and you found them, at A1C, one and there we go we've got my shipping uh, express posts and priority available here so we might just add in the I think it's on the second page the wine that we allowed for the the Canada post shipping class Just calculate the shipping again. 2253, so I've already done that. So yeah, yeah, as you can see, we've got 2253, 2651 and priority. So you can choose whatever option you choose to ship with. So as you can see, it's quite easy uh, to set up. Um, probably the, the hardest thing and the most timely thing is probably setting up your custom boxes and you know, having the right sizes and making sure if a shipping, a shipping service, so let's just say Express Post has a, a weight restriction, it's always good to have a box set up with that weight restriction and, and then obviously those items will be packed correctly. So, yep, that's all great. Hope that's helpful and happy happy shipping and happy selling and we'll get in contact very soon. Thanks. Bye.